welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel today. We're gonna to be unboxing the Boucher HG56. What? what? Wish I was down on some blue bayou with a bamboo cane stuck in the sand. Road I'm on, well it don't go there. So I'll just dream and keep on being the way I am. So Jeremy, we're going to talk a little bit about Boucher again here. Why? We're big fans of great we guitars, and we love talking about great guitars. We do. So why would we talk about them? <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. I like this guitar a lot, actually. It's been one of my favorite uh, in the shop for a while. Every once in a while, you got to have a small body guitar, and the double O body size, especially in the 12 fret variety, is actually one of my favorite small body guitars. Um, and this one... Is has been just one of those guitars that just blows me away. It's got a lot time. of cool special features. It does. To it. This is an HG56 with a gold package. Well, I think actually all the HGs come with a gold package. It's part of the Heritage Goose seri series, and that means that it has the Thermo Cure Torrified Baked, whatever you want to call it, aged. Adirondack Spruce Top aged. Yeah, that's right. Um, and and Boucher was like one of the originators of That's bringing right. the torrified process to guitar tops. Like he was one of the, the, the guys that figured out the process and He's made He's definitely it. a big fan and definitely been pushing those. The HG56 uh, is a double O body size that 12 fret variety, I love playing double O guitars in the 12 frets. Um, they has fit that me. classic slotted peg head. Um, all the characteristics of the, uh, the genuine, that's the reason why it's a heritage goose. I've not met very many heritage geese, but this, <laughs> if I, don't I was know what that to, means. to personify a heritage goose, this would be it right here. Um, great guitar, rosewood back and sides, uh, Adirondack top, like we said before, maple bound, um, and with that 12 fret body. Now this one is a little different than some of the uh, Boucher guitars we've had in that it has a fully glossed neck that goes into that volute and uh, you know shows off that slotted pig head. Again, I guess that's the heritage side of this is a traditional, is look, a traditional look of those uh, 1920s style uh, parlor guitars, if you will. Um, I will. <laughs> well, thank you for doing that, Jeremy. Um, the double O guitar, I think, has actually made a major comeback. It's for the little guys like this guy over here. And um, Sean Watkins and a few other little guys. <laughs> I'm just but also big it's guys. Not like I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm not that big myself. Well, some big I'm guys big, as well. But, you are. Um, I'm not big anyway. Uh, double O's are very balanced. Great finger picking guitars. Great strumming guitars. I actually tend to love whenever I grab a double O guitar. I feel like I want to be Jimmy Rogers. Um, I need a Jimmy Rogers all the way down through here. And let's work on that. I bet we'll do that. I'll Robbie call Robin that. and say that we'll get that happening. Anyway, if you haven't played any of the Boucher guitars, they really do a good job at at, at doing what they do very well. Which is building guitars. It's very strange that I said that that yes, way. It's it like is. a rambling That's why I helped a little mess. bit. <laughs> but yeah, the, we've been, the, I guess the proof is in the pudding. We've had, I don't know, six guitars in, and every one of them have been exemplary guitars. Mm -hmm. They've stood out against all the other uh, brands we carry. Um, that's the exciting thing about discovering, which we're not discovering, he's been around a while, but for us, bringing them to the shop and introducing them to an, an audience that may not be familiar with them and showing these incredible hand-built instruments that these guys spend quite a bit of time on these. They're not mass-produced. They're not no. cranking out one no, every no, day. No. They're spending you know weeks building these, weeks and months, months I guess, building yeah, each of these instruments. And you can tell when you play it and when you look at it, it's just the details involved And, and that, there are a lot impressive. of people, you were saying, they've been around for a while, but there's a lot of people that aren't familiar with Boucher guitars. There's a very few amount of dealers here in the States, and we are very, definitely excited to be one of the dealers of those because every guitar we've had in has really been a great example of high-end guitar building. So anyway, Anyway, HG56, one that you should definitely check out if you're in the market for a small body guitar. I would definitely check this guitar out. What do you think, Jer? I agree. I've, I have checked it out. <laughs> I enjoy it a lot. And again, for I think not only the size-wise for people's bodies, but the singer-songwriter, the, the smaller double level guitars don't compete as much with your voice, so you're not having to sing over top of it like you might with a dreadnought. Absolutely. So it's, it's a great way to kind of be an accompaniment to yourself. So 
uh, for, for individual solo artists, I think it's part of the reason it's gotten kind of a comeback in that smaller body size. So, uh, excellent example of that, and I, I love that guitar. I, I agree with you. So make sure to check this one out and uh, put it on your list for double O guitars, the Boucher HG56. Hey, thanks for watching that video that we just did. I'm gonna make this universal so we can use it on all the Ah, videos. good I man. hope you enjoyed that thing that I said. <laughs> and if you'd like to see more things like that, just subscribe down below where it says subscribe. You'll be notified anytime we do another video. And while you're at it, make sure to check out our website, theacousticshop.com. We have free shipping on most products and one of the best return policies in the country. We, we know what it's like to buy an instrument online. You never know what you're gonna get. When you get it, if you're not happy with it, send it back to us. We're not gonna be mad at you. No. We'll be a little disappointed in you, but <laughs> not at all. We want you to find the right instrument and there's no way to know until you try it. So we encourage you to try it out, play it, and then if it's not the right fit, we'll find the one that it is. There we go. Also, be sure to uh, comment down below. We'd love to interact with you guys. Mm -hmm. It's not a one-way street here. Nope. You get to say things, we get to say things back to you. If we say mean <laughs> things, we're gonna say mean things we back. May, so. We may or may not do that. Anyway, we thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.